fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I am here today to report on my findings of using diamond painting rulers. So my first foray, foray into rulers was a kit that I ordered on Amazon and it came with this square ruler. It came with this round diamond painting ruler and I believe this one. I have since ordered several more uh, once I learned that they came in different sizes and honestly I, I well hmm okay let's just start with the easiest one first and that's the square one because I only have one of them. So I got this square ruler and it's supposed, it says it is, well, I don't know if it actually says anything on it anywhere. When I ordered it, I think it told me it was a 50 by 125 millimeter ruler. So if you divide 50 into 125, you get 2.5, which is the size that square drills are supposed to be. However, uh, not all diamond painting companies are equal, obviously. And so having tried this ruler with a couple of different square companies, I will tell you that um, I'm going to test it again. I have another diamond art club in uh, ready to go that I'm going to test this on but I tested it on one and it did not fit um, I tested it on my square or aloha kit and I'll try to insert some footage here so you can see what I'm what I mean you place the ruler down and then try to get it to line up so that you can use the ruler as a guide to place your drills to keep your drills in alignment and make them prettier. I did get it to work with the Orloa. Um, when I tried it with my Treasure Studios Art, it did not fit. Like the first half of the ruler would work, but then it would get offset and my, my canvas didn't match up with my drills anymore. Um, I did also try it with a Star Roar canvas. If I can find footage of that, I will put it in. What I have discovered for myself personally is especially with squares, it's kind of trial and error, um, whether or not it's gonna fit your canvas. And like I said, it didn't fit my other Diamond Art Club. I'm gonna check it here in just a few minutes against the Diamond Art Club I have set up, but. For me with squares, the squares kind of lend themselves more easily to staying in line anyway because they butt right up against each other. So if you can get your edges straight, I don't know that you need to mess necessarily with a ruler. I mean, feel free, you do you. Uh, but I haven't used this really since I did the testing with it because it's more hassle to me than it's worth. Like, I feel like I spend more time trying to get the ruler on there straight than I do actually placing any diamonds, and that defeats the whole purpose for me. And it didn't fit every canvas, so I'll double check that, but pretty sure those are going to remain my thoughts on the square ruler. So there's that. Then I did a bunch of testing with the various sizes of round rulers. Now, I did some testing with this particular ruler. Um, this one is a 141. So it's 50 by 141. So you divide 50 into 141 and you get 2.82. Round drills are supposed to be 2.8 millimeters uh, in diameter. So should be right. And I don't use this ruler, frankly. I think it's too long for me to be comfortable with it. And also for me, if I'm gonna be placing drills and all the fussing that you have to do, because once you place the drills, then you have to go over it with your brayer or a roller or something. 
and then carefully peel this up to make sure that you're not peeling up drills at the same time. Um, while this design is, you know, pretty with the little, I don't know, cross, whatever, to me, if I'm going to go to all the trouble of placing a ruler, I'm not going to use one with this pattern. I'm going to use one of these that lets me place every drill and I can see what I'm doing because then once I lift this one up, I just have to go back in and place all of these drills where I, the ruler covered it up. I mean, if you like checkerboarding and things like that, I mean, that's essentially what you get left with. Then again, you do you. I haven't used this ruler since I did some testing with it. So I tested these, let's see, with Diamond Art Club, with Dreamer Designs, with Fan Cells, with Paint with Diamonds for the rounds. Um, I didn't have squares and some, or rounds in some of the other ones. So I didn't have an Oraloa round. I didn't have a Dreamer Designs square. I don't have a TSA round, so I've just kind of done it as I had canvases. And what I've discovered is it's kind of hit or miss. So the round rulers come in different sizes. So this particular one, I hope you can read that, is a 140.5. This one is a 141. This one is... Hmm, this one doesn't have anything written on it. And this one is a 141.5. So I think you can also get a 140. I don't know if that's what this one is because I thought I had all the different sizes. But anyway, so 0.5 millimeters difference. So half a millimeter difference in some of these. So I tried using my calipers to measure, you know, how the distance on the canvases to see if I could tell which ruler I needed to use. And it just was kind of hit or miss, like I said. So with the fan cells canvas that I tested it with, I could use the 141 ruler, which is this one. And um, my hedgehog with all the white background, I used this ruler. Um, I also tested it on another fan cells canvas and I'll insert some footage here so you can see me doing that. They lined up really nicely and especially for like the hedgehog where you've got white background or you have a lot of background color and you want to keep your drill straight. It is nice for that. I also liked that ruler, the 141, because it's smaller. So it's a little easier to deal with um, trying to get it lined up. Because what I found is the bigger the ruler, the harder it is to get it lined up because you're doing it over a longer distance. So there's that. Um, for paint with diamonds, the 141 worked as well for their round kits. For Dreamer Designs, the 140.5 seemed to work better. And for Diamond Art Club, the 140.5 seemed to work better as well. So. I just, here's my take on it, guys. You can buy all the rulers that you want and try to make your drill straight. I don't know. <laughs> they do work. I don't want to say they don't work. I didn't have a lot of success with the squares, but the round ones, my fan cells and a couple of others, I did have some success with those. So I don't want to say they don't work. They do. My take on it is pretty much the same take that I had when I bought them is that they end up being more fussy and more work to get them lined up before you start laying down drills than I think it's worth. Now, in my case, for like my fan cells and things, like I said, where you've got a big area that is all one color, like a big background, that is a big piece of color blocking or whatever, and you want your drills to be as straight as possible, then they work. Absolutely, they work. I don't want to say they don't. Uh, I just think, again, that they are way more fussy than they need to be. So having said that, I'm going to move these out of the way. I have a square 
Diamond Art Club canvas. Let me move these papers out of the way. And I'm just going to try and lay down this ruler and see if I can get it to line up. Now, I will say the other thing about rulers is you have to lay them directly on your canvas. So, you know, you have to be pretty careful about them being clean and lint free. Um, also, they are kind of laser cuts. So like when you run your hand over, they're not always the smoothest. And so you do have to be careful kind of when you're laying them down or whatever. So what I found the easiest thing to do is, is to start with an edge and then try to line it up from there. So I just want to try and line it up with that outside edge. And I'm trying to line up the drills as well. And see, this is not going to work. I can tell already. So see, let me, let me zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm seeing. So I hope you guys can see that. So what I'm seeing is that it's lined up here. So my first like little cross is here and the next one are lined up, maybe even the third one. But then by the time I get over to here, I'm now off and you can see right here, or at least I hope you can. Now I've got half of a, a square showing through when I should have three complete squares. And it just gets worse the further over that you go. So this doesn't work with Diamond Art Club. Now again, I don't know if there's a different size of the square rulers. Let me zoom you guys out again. I've not seen any different size square rulers, but I haven't looked either. So I mean, all the round, we know there's variances in round sizes. All the square drills are supposed to be the 2.5. But yeah, it just, I think it's a learning curve. If you get one and you find you like it, then stick with it. By all means, use it. Um, the square one, like I said, I think for me is going to be in the no thank you pile because I don't. I just don't see it being useful. It, it doesn't work with most of the things that I've tried. Um, it did work with the Oraloa. I think it did work with the Star Roar, but the Diamond Art Club it did not work with and the TSA it did not work with. So for me, especially Diamond Art Club um, and TSA, I mean, those are two companies that I have the most squares from. So yeah, it doesn't do me a whole lot of good. As far as the round ones go, again, I don't like this one because of the pattern. So that one's kind of a no-go for me for that reason. This one I think is too long. I think when it, it gets to be that much of a span, while that's nice, in that you don't have to keep repositioning it while you're diamond painting, um, it makes it harder to line up. So I don't like it for that reason. Now, again, these came in all different sizes. So there's the 140.5, the 141, and then the 141.5. And there is a 140 that I don't have. So I thought I did, but I don't. Um, so the one that I've had the most success with is this one, the 141. This one worked for me um, with the my paint with diamonds canvas. This one worked for my fan cells. Uh, this one worked for my dreamer designs. Um, and I think I got it to work for my diamond art club. No diamond art club was this one, the 140.5. Sorry. And I said that wrong. So fan cells and paint with diamonds were the 141. Dreamer Designs and Diamond Art Club were the 140.5. So, and you know, I assume they're all similar, but your mileage may vary, like I said, because I would measure it with my calipers and think that one would fit and it didn't. And then if I went to the next size, suddenly it would work. So, I, I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason, you know, if you, if I can say, well, it worked with one fan cells, if it were, will work with all of them. I tried 
a couple of fan cells canvases and I got it to work. Uh, I tried, you know, this with um, the Dreamer Designs and the Diamond Art Club. Although, again, I will say, even though I got the ruler to line up, I did not spend any time diamond painting actually with the rulers because I just felt like I was spending more time fussing with getting the ruler lined up than I was actually diamond painting. Now, my smaller fan cells, like I said, um, the Hedgehog, whether I had a lot of white background on or whatever, it was extremely worth it. And I think it worked really well. It did take me longer because I had to get this lined up. You put all the drills down and then you have to go over it and then carefully pull it up before you move it on to the next section. And of course, if you have other colors interspersed, that makes it kind of even more difficult to work around. Um, also, I will say an added benefit of this is that it helps you sort out odd sized drills. Like if you have a drill that's just a little bit too big, it's not going to fit down in the holes to go onto the canvas when you're using the ruler. So in that respect, it helps you identify drills that are either way too small or way too big. Um, because you can hear the definite click when you push it down. So. Yeah, I mean, it has some benefits and some uses. And if you're super worried about having perfectly straight rows of drills, then go for it. These are awesome. If you're somebody who wants to spend your time diamond painting and not fussing with rulers and everything, and if having super absolutely straight drills are not a huge deal to you, then my advice is don't bother. Um, the rulers are not that expensive. So if you want to try one, you know, feel free again, you do you, but I think for the most part, mine are going to just hang out in storage unless I, every once in a while I have like a big section of background that I need to do. Um, and I want my drills to be straight, which basically means if I have a big white background, because most other backgrounds, if it's a dark color, you're not gonna be able to tell anyway. So I probably wouldn't bother white it's really apparent when your lines are not very straight so that's why i used it for that so yeah there you go guys that's like two months worth of testing summed up into what 20 some minutes so yeah i hope you found this useful i did have a bunch of stuff filmed but when i went back and looked at it it just seemed repetitive frankly and I could get my point across without making you guys set through 30 hours of me putting rulers on canvases. So, so I opted to do it this way. I hope that's uh, not a disappointment to anyone. So I will put um, some information in the description box below, uh, both about where I got the rulers. So you can find some if you want them. And also some information about what sizes I found worked with which canvases so that you have some sort of reference. Again, I'm not gonna promise that my experiences are going to be yours. Um, maybe there's a trick to using these that I'm just unaware of, but for right now, yeah, I'm, I'm, these are an okay tool. They are not essential as far as I'm concerned. So that's my take on rulers. Before you leave guys, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching.